Hi, welcome to this Agalis Breathwork series. My name is Hanley Prinsloo. I'm a freediving instructor and ocean conservationist based in Cape Town, South Africa. In this video, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how to take a really big breath. The biggest breath you've ever taken. When you're going down on one breath to explore underwater or when you're lying down to practice breath hold, you want to make sure you maximize the amount of air you can take in comfortably in order to have as much oxygen as possible for that exploratory dive. To take a really big breath in, you need to remember your lungs are completely squishy. They can expand and expand and expand. What stops you from taking a really big breath in is the flexibility of the muscles between your ribs, your intercostal muscles, or the muscles over your chest and the muscles over your back. So the first thing you'd want to do before taking a really big breath in is to spend some time stretching and expanding these muscles so that you can have as much space as possible for that big, big, big breath. Make sure you look at some of our other videos where I talk about how to stretch and increase your lung capacity for free diving and breath hold. But today we're going to talk about the actual function of taking that really big breath in. So firstly, come to sit really comfortably. Sit straight up in a comfortable seated position. If you need to put a block or a mat under your bum, go for it so that you can sit really tall. And now I want you to imagine your lungs being three spaces, stomach, chest, and shoulders. And when you breathe in, that last big breath in, you want to start breathing into your stomach, then your chest, and then your shoulders. And that's how you fill up carefully and deeply and consciously to get that big breath in. So always to prepare, take a couple of easy, gentle breaths. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. We always try to breathe in through the nose when we're doing breath work. There's receptors in the lungs that actually get activated when the breath comes in through the nose so that you take more oxygen in when you're breathing through your nose. But for this vitality of the last final breath, we're going to inhale through the mouth because you actually get to pull more air in through your mouth into that final breath. So take one easy breath in. Exhale everything out. Now start in your stomach. Feel your stomach expand. Now feel your chest expand. Pop a little bit more air into your shoulders, under your collarbones. Now relax your shoulders, relax your neck, hold that breath. And just feel how full you were able to get your lungs when you did that three-part breath. Hold it for a couple more seconds and exhale. Let's do that again. This time I'm going to do it with you without talking. So try and do it at the same pace as I am. Stomach, chest, shoulders. Easy breath in to begin. Exhale everything out. Let's start in the stomach.
If you feel slightly lightheaded from that deep inhale, take a little bit less air and just work on that lung stretching to make your lungs more and more flexible. If you're starting to feel very lightheaded, then take a step back and be really, really slow in building up into that three-part breath. And remember, you can always just puff a little bit of air out of your mouth to get to a volume that's comfortable for you as you practice taking that big breath in. The key to absolutely everything with breath work for free diving and for breath holds is relaxation. If you tense in your shoulders, if you tense in your chest, you're gonna to struggle to get that big breath in because of that tension. So really work on that relaxation. Go through some of the videos that work with the stretching for opening up the lungs and then try this one again. And that will really also teach you how your body can and does change. Our bodies are incredible. They're adapted for breath hold. They're adapted for free diving. All you need to do is spend some time on your mat, spend some time in the ocean and get used to feeling how you can take those big breaths in. All we want to do is make sure you get to explore safely and enjoy the beautiful ocean that we've been given to explore and to do it in a way that makes sense for you and makes sense for your body. Enjoy the journey, learning about your breath and learning about your body. And thank you for joining this Agalis Breathwork series. Remember to never ever free dive or dive alone. And at Agalis, we encourage you to consume consciously, breathe deeply and explore boldly.